Mm. Hello guys. Wait for Melanie. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ciao Antonio, grazie. Non so per cosa, ma <ride> grazie. Eccola. Yes. Hello! Ah! <laughs> It's been so long! It's been so long! Oh, I miss you! Look at you! How's it going? I miss you too! How's it going? It's, it's good! How's everything going there? Are you guys are you free? Not good! <laughs> Not good! Uh, we are in the middle of another, probably, We're very close to another lockdown in about a week. They will, uh, uh, they will let us know if we're going to go through another lockdown. But in general, it's not a good moment as we are having a lot of cases again in Europe in general, like in France and in Spain and in England. It's, it's a bit of a disaster, yeah, unfortunately. It's tricky. Mm. All right. You look Good. What have you done? Have you tainted your hair? No, I've just had some sleep. <laughs> How's it going? Like... I'm so happy to see you. It's been so long. You too. Hello, everyone who's joining. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So... And Julia, which is uh, which is uh, which is very interesting. It's very cool. It looks very real. And yeah, how do you guys feel about the release of part three? We're actually very thrilled. We can wait. It's actually it's very long for us to wait such a long time to see what have we done, you know, because we don't actually okay. see. Like, because it's been released in parts, that feels so long ago now. Um, 
So yeah, I'm in, I'm intrigued, even just trying to remember everything that's in the third part. But uh, I'm thrilled. I'm nervous. <laughs> All the things. Mm. Can you actually imagine that a, a year ago, specifically a year ago, we were lying on the grass? Because this is the first week of the movie. So we were lying on the grass in the apple orchard. It's, it's a year ago. Freezing our asses up. You remember that we saw that coyote lying on the street? That's right. You remember that? That was a um, that was a on first week. So somebody's asking. Uh, I know we're getting part three in a few days, but are you excited to get back to work on the other films of Pulley in the future? So to be much. honest, no. uh, I don't like working with Melanie is tough. Um, oh, tell me about how tough it is. <laughs> she's the, the best. She's the best. I love you so much. <laughs> She's the best. I, I really can't wait to be to be on, on set together again. We had such a love, lovely time. Uh, we were laughing so much because, of course, I'm the funny one, but you are the serious one. So at the same time, I have to say that if I've done a good job, it's because of you. At least I give you this. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. funny one. Definitely. Somebody asking us, what do you miss the most about being together on set? What do you miss about me, Zanetti? I miss how much fun we have on set. I miss that we, we sort of have a secret language on set. I mean, <laughs> um, and I miss, miss having like a team, you know, who sort of like 100% got your back the whole time. That, that I miss. And, um, and it's challenging, like it's super challenging. And I like, um, I like challenge and I haven't been that level of challenged as much this year because of changing schedules. So I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. I can't wait to be on set to work with you again, to be honest, as I said many, many times, and as people are seeing on a movie, the level of chemistry that we had is, is very, was very rare, was very precious. And I, wanna, and I think it's like a sort of a mutual language that we talk. We, guys, we, of course, respect each other very much as uh, friends, as uh, people that are working together, as human beings. Um, and uh, I felt, I felt uh, blessed. I feel blessed to to have the chance to share uh, an experience with you because it was very, you know, you, 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 we, you remember that. Sometimes we were like, uh, like in a scene and it was like just me and you, like Julia, Melanie, uh, not really, like we were the characters and, and, and that's very rare. So we had so much fun and I can't wait, I can't wait to be back on set to actually uh, you know, even collect all the experiences that I had during the last uh, four, five months that we were, like the three months that we were shooting together, plus all the all the things that I, you know, that I was able to process during this time and to express them with a new level of maturity. So I'm sure that the new, the, the next movies are going to be so much better because we know each other now. And we know the characters so well that it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, we're very happy about it. I can't wait. Same. Yeah, and I miss, and I miss Melanie to actually um, be very late in the morning uh, when I was supposed to go to work. And she was, like, arriving 25 minutes after with a cup of tea saying, Oh, good morning, Baruti. Uh, good morning, Daddy. I was waiting for you at five thirty. It's like six fifteen. You're like, ah, really? I'm sorry. Hi, guys. I come from a long way. I, I, for sure. <laughs> so, favorite fun scene in a movie? Mine is the drunken scene. We had so much fun. Oh, that that was one of the best. What's your favorite part in part three? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know either. I need to. I favorite need to see. I don't know. I would say 
But I would say, for example, that um, the uh, the sex scene, sorry, the love scene between us was um, was kind of scary in the very beginning because uh, it was so detailed and so you know when when you when I was reading the script, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so full of things that we need to do and the risk is to actually become very mechanical. But um, it was very good. I, we were very connected in the moment with as, as, as characters. And it was, for me, it was a big relief at the, at the end. You know, it was like, ah, okay, now this is going to be... Because if, if you do well, if, like, if you do everything good, but then in that specific moment, things are not going to work, and you're not believable. It's like a it's like a souffle. It's gonna it's gonna you know like deflate and like ah no. So for me, it was a big relief. But we had so much. We have many many different moments that we share. We both share. I don't know. I don't know if it happens to you that sometimes you. I, I used to think about it, and I used to have all these images about you know us. Uh, rehearsing with Tom and us uh, in 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 the cold, um, me and you getting smashed here and there on set with all those hours uh, running up and down with the van on the highway. I don't know. It felt it felt magic. It, it feels magical still, and uh, I don't know. It was just a blessed set, I would say. So. Um, I, I'm actually really excited about your fight with Simon. The what, sorry? The fight. Okay. With Simon, after he attacks Julia. Well, it's very, it's not, okay, people will see it, but uh, I wish I had more time to beat him up. Because <laughs> he deserved it, but I behaved. I was a good Gabriel. I promise. And I was not drunk. So, you know, when, when Professor Emerson is not drunk, he's a good boy. Right. So. <laughs> um, do you know when you guys will go back filming? We think about February. That's what Tosca said to us, but we don't know because guys depends a lot on the COVID situation. It's really good. Very- yeah, but yeah, like Julio said, COVID has a big say as to what's going to be possible. Do you remember when we were in in we were in New York and we thought that we had COVID? We were so fucking sick. Oh, oh yeah, guys, we were so sick. Like I can't remember the last time I was that sick. I was like crawling to the bathroom levels of of flu. It was really. <laughs> It's kind of amazing what we did on the they other had side. To, like, they had to stop filming. You remember that? For five days, we, they couldn't film anything because we were so sick. We were dead. Like, we yeah. were so sick. And I thought it was COVID. But then I did the test and it was not, apparently, because I don't have any... Either. So, no COVID. Mm. We're lucky then. Anyway... Uh, let's see. Describe, describe you each other in three words. Oh, that's a good one. I like yeah. it. Okay, so, may I start? Or should you? No, no. You got to think about it because I'm very like. It's not that easy to describe me in oh, three no. words. Um, hideous. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, Melanie is unpredictable. Original, wonderful. Oh, I love it. Uh, Julo is intuitive, um, brilliant, and... I like it, I'm- good. So, 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 say it again. I said intuitive, brilliant, brilliant. expected. Uh, good, I like it. <laughs> Are you getting married? Am I getting married? Yeah. Anytime soon. Um, 
maybe as uh, Julia in book two, <laughs> but other than that, yeah, not that yeah, I Yeah, something, something happened in your life. What happened? You, you, are, uh, you have a different energy. What's going on? What do you, uh, like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not I know you. <laughs> I know you, something, something is happening. What's happening? You, are, you, are you pregnant? You're intuitive. Yeah. Are you pregnant? Are you getting married? Uh, no, not now. No. 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 Not okay. for now, no. Right. Are we, uh, it sounds like we're, about, we're planting rumors for each other. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> tell us about the scene with Simon. Uh, yeah, uh, working, working with, um, with him was very nice. He's a lovely guy, uh, completely different from the character. He's a beautiful guy, super sweet, uh, very professional. He knows what he was doing and, uh, I loved it. I loved it very much. I was actually, I was feeling a little bit sorry that I had to, you know, we met five minutes before and five minutes after I was about to smashing against the door but uh but i but but it was a lovely is a lovely guy is, is a cool guy i love him very much i mean it, i have to say that basically everybody on set was very cool uh but uh yeah he's uh is a tough dude i like him he's cool i think he's very cool i i love anything that has a a, a fight or a chase sequence, and he was he was the dream to work with. So professional, so considerate, but like really good at his timing. He was wonderful. Shout out. So they're saying, do you guys have any? Do you guys have any? Have do you guys have any funny stories from filming? Uh, yeah, I have a long story short, Melanie. <laughs> <coughs> Julio, stay away from me. 24 hours later, Julio. <coughs> Melanie. <coughs> okay, Basically, the story, what story is, oh no, I think I did have it first. Because there was that day on set and you're like, you're not connecting with me. You're not here. And I'm like, I am. I think I'm just feeling a bit funny. And then like 12 hours later, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> <Never enough. laughs> You're like, you? uh, like stay with me, look at me, stay with me. And then 12 hours later, I was so sick. I was like, why, why have I said this to her? This is the karma. Anyway, um, Melanie is the Nevada of the U.S. That's what they call it. You are the Nevada of the U.S. I don't know what that means. Maybe, maybe it's referred to Biden winning. I don't know. Oh, but Melanie loves Trump, so. Um, oh, uh, oh, is that what you've got from my Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, what should we say? Let's see. Giulio, leggi messaggi privati per mia gira. Ragazzi, I will answer, um, risponderò su questo. Sto preparando un video. Dovete avere un pochino di pazienza. Uh, Ducati Roma, ciao Andre, Melanie, you're stunning, what the fuck, I agree, Melanie, have you read Julia's book? No, she didn't, so... English, because I suck. Don't blame me, you're half Italian, so you should know your half Italian language, because actually every time that you go somewhere, you say, oh, I'm half Italian, and then you don't know shit about Italian languages, so you're not half Italian, you just have a surname that is Italian, so stop selling yourself as an half Italian OC. Okay. I retract everything. Okay, good. <laughs> that is about the same with Simon. Uh, we already said something about it. Uh, Manny, you're glowing. Look great. Looking great. Oh. I agree. Something yeah. in Portuguese. I don't know. Describe you each other in three words. We already said this. Let me go, down. Go, go check the feed later. Do you plan on working on more projects together? Uh, well, for me, I would love to, to be honest. I really would love to. Um, as I said, uh, working with Melanie is so, such an awful experience that for some strange reason, I want to put myself into that situation again, over and over again. 
bug addict. It's horrible, but you know, you're you're addicted. You just want to keep coming back. Yeah, no, I, I, it's uh, I have a self destruction, um, destructive uh, um, attitudes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would love to work with you again. So we're gonna work together again we have four mo three movies to make but yeah absolutely we are we i mean i would love to do something even different maybe mm -hmm. i don't know a comedy would be so fucking cool a comedy would be so much fun <laughs> right <laughs> we'll see they said love everybody why you said love everybody julio i don't know what that means why you why you said Love everybody, Julio. What does it mean? Maybe why do I say I love you to everybody? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's that one. I don't know. Uh, what is the craziest thing you did on set? Uh, I don't know. Um, I've got to say Rain Day was pretty nuts for me. That was, yeah. you know... It's not a glamorous day. Uh, I was. She was all. Wet. She was all wet in the street. It was cold. freezing cold. She was wet for like six, seven hours. And I was. Uh, yeah. She, she was. You, know, you, you remember, guys, the raining scene from the first uh, movie of *The Risen Inferno*, and uh, she was. Um, yeah, she was. She was basically. I was just so. Cold. Yeah. Price. I was impressed. I was in my in my Tesla, uh, waiting for you to uh, do your scene, and I was freezing. And I was in the car. I was I was like, wow, she's tough. And then the day was not over because we went to the other place. You remember that? We went to that little house uh, oh. when we were doing the entrance of of, of basically your place. I still have the pictures of you in your super blanket. <laughs> If you, if you got to be okay, this is cool. If you got to be another famous person for a day, who and why? That's Ooh. cool. I want to be the Pope. Oh yeah, what, uh, hmm. why the Pope? It's just one. Just one day. It would be yeah. No. If if you can be another famous person for a day, who who would you who would you who would you be? And why? I would say I would be I will be the Pope, uh, because it's just one Pope at the time, and and I would probably go to some crazy rave party and make the biggest scandal of all time. I don't know. I would do something crazy. Um, I think if he was in his heyday, David Attenborough, when he was like doing all of those like insane underwater things and I just think he's had the most incredible life and I think he would be such an interesting person to be in his head. Mm. I think also David Hasselhoff from uh, Baywatch Mitch Buchanan because I would have loved to run uh, with Pamela Anderson on the beach. Good choice. Strong. That would be <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Boys will be boys. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, I would say, <laughs> uh, let's go. What the secret project you guys were working on back in February? Oh, yeah, we were working on a series of things that we were gonna, that we were uh, supposed to do together for Instagram, but unfortunately, as you guys might see, the world has changed, and so we had to flew, I had to flew back to Italy, she had to flew back to Australia, and we couldn't see each other anymore since then. Uh, so as, long, as soon as we were back together, we will start doing some of this uh, pills, interactions, and things for you guys, but unfortunately, it was not possible at the time, so we had to postpone it. Uh, what was the most difficult scene to film for you? Uh, I don't know. I 
don't know. What's the, what was the most difficult? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Well, anything that we just, like, have to be close. It's because we're sort of repelled by each other. So they're, they're all, always hard. But... Uh, such a liar. You're always trying to kiss me even when it was not supposed to. You're such a liar. <laughs> I, I, I was like, Lies. Oh, my God. I was like, Tosca, she's my student. I'm the professor. She doesn't have to kiss me in front of everybody right now. It's not in the story. It's not in the book. But she was like, oh, yes. no, because the character, the inner monologue, and she was trying to mm -hmm. justify it. She couldn't stay away from me, which is reasonable. Oh, that's the but, way it was. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say for me, for me was, uh, <laughs> I miss you, Emma. I miss, I miss to be an idiot with you. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe what about the, Maybe the scene when I'm going to talk about Polina and uh, oh, that's Maya. A yes. That the was hot, freezing and it was long. Uh, but that's not yeah. a that's me. Yeah. But that might be my most challenging one. We'll see. We were so ex Was that the last thing we shot? No. Uh, the last scene we shot was the scene in the park. Uh, yeah, that basically the one. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I think we were just like home stretch. We're so tired. <laughs> we were like. Thing. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah. The professor drunk was the funniest part. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was a good uh, one. They're asking us, do you love each other? Okay, guys, let's, let's clarify something because I've heard and, I've, and I received a couple of uh, strange uh, messages from a couple of people that were kind of annoyed with the fact that I had a girlfriend and apparently somebody said that you have a boyfriend or something. Um, when we say to each other that we love each other, it means that, I mean, from my point of view, that we love each other as human beings, first of all. We respect each other very much, but we are professionals. And so we work together, and it will be a huge mistake to mix up things that are not required on set. Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's rules number one. Of course, there's a good chemistry between me and Melanie. Of course, there's a great chemistry between me and Melanie. But it's... Um, it's very much useful for what we're doing, which is the movie, and is useful for our characters. What is between uh, uh, me and, and Melanie, hypothetically, in a private life, there's no space for that right now. And if, if that's the case, we'll see. But um, uh, the rule number one... Love. It's in a, a more human global transcendent way than a exactly it's not uh, just about being together with another person it's about respecting the other person in every possible form that the word respect means you know i i really uh i have a massive respect for the person that she is for the professional that she is um professionist professional whatever uh the actors that she is the woman that she is the choice that she made I really have a huge respect for her, and that, and for that reason, I love her very much. But of course, it's it's a big word that you know means a lot of different things. And if for if some of you guys are unhappy with this, we've I mean, I'm sorry, and I think she's sorry too. But again, uh, this is not a game. This is not a this is a work. This is a job and requires a level of professionalism that it's high enough, it's sufficient enough to let all the other people around us, also the partners you're working with, uh, to feel comfortable. And which means that you need to respect the fact that you, first of all, you are a professional. 
And so there's no space for anything else than that. Uh, once, I can with that. once and if this is going to be over one day, we'll see if it's our de in our destiny to be together in a different form. We'll see, but uh, I would say that right now we're group friends and we have, I would say, different lives, different private lives, and we respect each other very much even in that fragment. One reason that we work so well is we always put the work first and the respect of the other human being first. So um, I know for both of us, nothing gets in the way of that, uh, which is one of the reasons I love working with Julia. Thank you. It's very important, guys, to let the other person feel safe, you know, and if, if, if you feel that the other person is not there as a professional, but is there as a, something more, it's not good. It's not good. In my experience, I, I, just, I had this experience once with another person many, many years ago, and it was the worst, not the worst, but was not a good choice, you know, because it would be a... It's not good. It's not good. It's not good for the people around you. It's not good for the person you're working with. It's not good for the character. It's not good for the movie. So I would say that uh, when we say that we love each other, it's very much about that we respect each other. And the rest, we'll see. Uh, but again, um, please do not... Uh, um, it's true. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Uh, let's move on. We have, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Mine is probably blue or red, I would say. They're my two favorites too. Really? Just, yes. We, get, we gotta get married then. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All compatibility is sorted. We both like blue and red. Okay, somebody's asking what this means. Okay, so Melanie is always asking me, always ask me to treat her like a man, like a tough woman. <laughs> Where you know, did I say a... that? You started what? this, you like, said, you know what this is? Like, and I said, yes, I do. You're like, I'm a warrior. I don't need your help. I don't need, I don't need this, I don't need that. I was like, okay. So me with my friends in Italy, we do this, you know, and every time they sh they sh you show up this, and if somebody's looking inside this, so if, I'm, if you're going to do this and somebody's going to look at it, you're going to punch him on the shoulder. Unless you can stick your finger in there and then you get to punch them. Exactly. If you're fast enough to stick your finger in it and not get catched, then you, get a, you can punch the other person. And so we had this joke and unfortunately, Melanie had a swollen shoulder for like two months and a half. I'm I was so. also very good at it. Uh, Just to let, what time is it now? Sorry. It is 8.34 here. Right, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's physical. Silly joke, but when you're so fucking stressed and tired, it's wonderful. I don't know. It's just, um, uh, we leave yeah, a little thing. There was one point where we had a new person on set and Julio had just won around and punches me really hard in the shoulder. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so somebody's asking, what's your first impression about each other when you see, when you saw each other for the first time? Uh, what do you think? Oh, well, we started. I remember. No, no. The... Yes, but in person, I, I, I remember I saw you. Oh no, I was so yet. <laughs> I was, um, I had just been traveling for 30 hours and had never been more jet lagged in my life. She and was beautiful as always. <laughs> I was a mess. She was, um, she was the was sweetest just... thing ever. It was like with this little crackers inside her hands and she was like, oh, hey, hi, I'm Melanie. I was like, oh, hi, I'm Julio. Um, uh, okay, uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, we're going to rehearse. Another time. It was very awkward, but it was a sweet, uh, sweet encounter because actually we uh, saw each other first time on Skype. And since day one, since the, since the second minute, we had a, 
we had a good connection, even though Melanie had some problem with the things that I had blue eyes and she was asking Tosca if I was able to act. But besides that, um, she was, uh, we had a good connection. I would say that we had, we had a good not connection. A thing, guys, that is not a thing. Um, no, I was, um, I was, to be honest, quite shocked at how um, open Julia was right from the get-go. It was such a relief to go, oh, okay, this person is intelligent and open and ready to work and um, on the same page with wanting this to be great. Because you just, you never know. Especially if, like, we didn't do a chemistry read before this, so that was sort of terrifying. Yeah, what process both went through to adjust your accent to... American, what change? What changes did you have to make while acting? Oh my gosh, that's for me. Because uh, Melanie was good; was she was she was really good at that. Uh, I had to work with Thomas, uh, my accent coach. What well, is an angel? Basically, he really, really had me a lot, and it was very tough. It was very challenging and tough for me because you know, guys, when you're working, when you're acting. Um, I mean, that's my method, okay? Uh, I learn, I, I, I try to understand what do I want very much. And I try to translate what do I want as a character in what do I want as Julio. And so I personalize a lot every scene. It's me in that situation as a character, but it's me. So in order to do that, you need to to be fully concentrated and open at the same time to receive things from the other person that you can use to build and create new things, new poses, new bits, new, you know, everything that, uh, um, that the other person is, will give you is it's gold because you can react. Acting is reacting basically. And so it was very tough for me to switch from Italian to English to the American language because Basically, our brain works on sounds. There are certain words that are especially vowels that we use to express ourselves and we used to use them since we, we, we are using them because we used to use them since we were kids because we used to hear people expressing themselves, themselves with those vowels. And American vowels um, sometimes are very different than the English that I learned in school or in general in Italian. Uh, we spread a lot. For example, we say we use this a lot for some reason, uh, or we don't use the, the alveolar ridge la, 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 of the tongue, you know, like hospital, for example. Uh, we don't have, or we don't have the H. So it was very difficult for me to try to, to be connected as a person to be fully connected in a scene, but at the same time using a completely different muscle memory that I don't have at the time and different sounds and vowels to express what I was thinking because we use, we use vowels to express ourselves. If you get punched by some, somebody, you don't, you, don't, you don't say T, 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 T. You say, ow! Okay, so vowels are what we use to express. Motion is a vowel. Exactly. Basically, emotion, emotions are involved. And so it was very hard for me sometimes to concentrate on, on using, especially there's a, there's a thing called diphthongs that you have to switch from one vowel to another, like ow or no, instead of no or no, like in Italy, okay? Like I heard, I, I remember my English was like no, like no, it was very different. And so sometimes I was spinning a bit out of what I was doing because I was conscious of the movement that I had to do in order to obtain that sound. And so that was very challenging for me because I had to be there, but at the same time, I had to be outside the scene to control those movements of my mouth and, and my body. And, you know, it was, it was tough, but I had to say that Tosca gave me the best the best uh, uh, coach ever because Tom is an actor is is such a kind dude and and I love him so much um, uh, not because I want to marry him 
but because I love him as a human being and love Tom. Uh, and and he really helped me out a lot. But it was very tough and challenging in the very beginning, and especially because we were going through so many scenes with so many words, with so many dialogues that I mean, it was challenging for Melanie and is her primal language basically. Uh, because guys, you know more the character stuff because um like i've worked with an american accent for for years now and it's way easier when it's your first language um but where julia in terms of her you know how uh, timid she is and the way she's different from me um vocal placement uh was probably uh quite different from where i would usually sit my american um, which which is more congruent with where my natural voice sits. So that shift was sort of the biggest thing for me. So um, nothing like the challenges that Julia had to do, but it, it was different. Well, it's not about who, who had a who had a more a more difficult one. It's about you know each one of us has a challenge, and and for me, um, I mean I've seen your struggle. I've seen your struggle with all those words. I've seen your struggle with you know, all those scenes with the fatigue because guys acting is emotionally exhausting and because, or you invest yourself in the scene and in the process and in the character, or you're just a liar. That's basically the, that's basically the difference. You're just a liar and nobody's going to believe you. So if you want people there to believe you, you really have to be truthful to yourself as an actor. I would say that the most important thing as an actor is to be truthful first with yourself in order to be, to be honest and truthful with the audience. That's the most important thing. And to be there and, and, to, and to obtain that result, you need to invest yourself into every scene and every words, every emotions, every emotions. And it's so exhausting. So you are, you're working a lot. You are, you have all this physical fatigue because you're not sleeping good. You're not sleeping much. You're not eating good. You're not sleeping in your own bed. You have people around you that you don't know. You are emotionally connected to the material. You have to change from one scene, shift from one scene to another. One you're laughing and happy. The other one you're crying because somebody's dying. And so all that roller coaster is so exhausting that if you don't, it's like a marathon. If you don't have a, a strong, a strong uh, um, work ethic, you're going to blow up yourself. And again, if you don't have good partners to work with, it's going to be a disaster. Um, I was blessed to work with Melanie because Melanie was fully present emotionally, physically, energetically there in every scene. And for me, it was so much easier because I just had to react. So I was not, I was not, I didn't have to invent or create anything to sustain the scenes. We were there and we were helping each other. I mean, I tried my best to, uh, sometimes of course my, my accent problem was kind of distracting for her. It could be, but she was patient enough to help me and to, to not feel judged. And for this reason, I will always remember this uh, as, um, as this experience as one of the best of my life because I work with such a talented and gifter, and gifted human being and actress that, again, it's very rare. And that's why we like each other very much because we, we know what we shared. It was tough, guys. Trust me, it was very fucking tough. But we helped each other so much and I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it without her. Like, 100%. I mean, this was such a challenging project also because um, it, it wasn't really, like, it was so much of it was just us two. Um, so it's less of an ensemble piece and more we're really carrying it. And if you don't have a partner who can carry it with you, like, this would have been so Disaster. much more difficult. Like, I don't even want to think about what it would be like if I didn't have Disaster. someone to trust and trust their work and them as a person. And I think that that's the most scariest thing that we both experienced since day one because we didn't know each other that well. We felt that there was a good chemistry and we were, talk we were, we were talking the same language. But at the same time, you don't know until you know it. 
And so the first week was kind of a, was very important. Probably even the week before the shooting when we were rehearsing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I felt that uh, we, we were on the same page. Also, and I was like, you don't know what someone's going to be like under pressure. That's the other yeah. thing. You don't know if they're going to be able to stay in a place of grace when things get really tough and the hours get extended and things may or may not be working. Like who are they, you know, who is the person when things are tough? And um, knowing that it doesn't matter what happens, I can depend on this person is, is huge. It is. Did we, oh, one question is, did we ever have disagreements? We never actually had an, any oh, disagreement. Well. Not even <laughs> once. We probably had a moment where we both had to take a moment for ourselves. Like, and then I was like, so just give me one second. Leave me alone one second. Yeah. And, 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 and so you did with me. But apart from that, I would say that strangely was, was perfect. I mean, we use our energy. It's like, guys, we were fighting against a big dragon, okay? Because uh, you guys sit there on a sofa and enjoy what we've done, enjoy the movie, which is great. And we thank you for that because it's very rewarding for us. But normally, a movie or of one hour and 20 minutes will be shoot in eight weeks, okay? We shoot it in six weeks, eight hours of a movie. So the level of information and the, le the number of scenes, words, repetitions, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, traveling and different environments, different people around us was so overwhelming that it would have been a disaster to not have somebody capable of, of being there with you to hold your hand and let you feel not, a, not alone in that situation, in that process. I had past experience in the past where it was very tough. Like I, I, I came out of that, of, 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 um, I came out of uh, some of those experiences crashed. Like, um, you know, um, uh, like, like not happy of what I've done or not happy in general, because I knew that, uh, I had to fight against a lot of things, against myself or against my instinct. One thing that we both have in a very similar, I would say, way is that we talk the same language and we see things very similarly. And so it was very good and very easy to find a good chemistry on set and to trust each other very much and to hold our hands and to, you know, to face everything together. And, and it was... It was very good. And when, when I see people that are happy about the fact that we have a good chemistry and as actors and as characters, we, we did good. It's so rewarding because we know, guys, we were, I was scared as fuck. Like, I was scared as fuck. I don't know if Melanie was, but I was scared as fuck not to be able to make it because I know that there was a lot of expectation, a lot of work to do, a lot of people out there that was waiting for this character with such a uh, big high expectation. And I was like, I don't know if I can achieve those expectations. And, you know, you feel the pressure. It's, it's not easy. I, I think also when you're, you're playing a character from a book that's, you know, so beloved and people have idea in mind's eye of who this character is. So it's not just for this particular movie or script. It's the the history people have with these books and what they've invested in them, that, that's what you're bringing to life. And that's, that's why it's so scary because you really want to do these characters justice in a way that the, the fans are going to feel like, yeah, this is what I imagined and felt and this is the experience I had with these books. So there's, there's definitely that pressure on top of that. Also, well. yeah. Absolutely. But overall, I think we've done a good job and I really can't wait to be on set again because I had, uh, you know, all these months mm, that we were out of set, I had 
the chance to, you know, um, let Gabriel grow in me and, and you know, uh, understand more about him and understand more about what was working about those those movies that we've done, because of course we love them as much as you guys love them. But I see places where I can be even much, I can be better. I can make adjustments and be better and better because my goal is to be perfect, even though perfection doesn't exist, but I always want to learn and achieve a better result. And so I know that now there are a couple of things here and there that are, they are adjustable and I can't well, wait what, to have it in some way, having this time, um, everything that happens percolates and you think about it and you think about where it could go and how you can improve, how you can get more connected to the character. Like, I guess that's, that's the positive of having this year to, to let things um, settle and solidify as well. I think it's only, only going to get better from here. I agree. You made a great job, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's skip some of these questions. Can we already answer them? Shows you how you are working well around the world. Thank you very much, Brownie. Brownie is sleeping right now. Hey, Brown, Brown. Oh, She's so nice. Are you going to film the other books? Yes, we're going to do that as long as as soon as it's possible to do it, probably February. So that's that's the idea. Reflect. Uh... Oh, I see. Do I have a tattoo? No, I am a clean skin. No tattoos. Just like me. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. To <laughs> anyway. It's midnight here, guys, and I need to go to sleep because tomorrow I have an audition, which is very important. So good luck to me. Um, Boca Lupo. Would... Boca Lupo. Yeah, thank you. Crepe Lupo. <laughs> I would love to see you super soon. Maybe we can organize another day. We'll see. Maybe this week, next week. Let's see because I know you're super busy these days, but let me know uh, whenever you have a chance. Yeah. Uh, do another one. Um... Yes, soon, guys. Around the release, yeah. maybe after. Not yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe after, so you guys can tell us what you guys think. Uh, yeah, and thanks so much for your time, guys. Thanks so much for the questions. Hope we give you some, you know, here and there, bits and pieces of what our experiences. And it was so lovely to see you again, Mel. I really, really see you Thank you, you everyone we we love seeing all you here. Ciao. Bye bye. <laughs>